So normally I don't do intros, but I just lost a son recently. He was hit with the UWAP during the commission of a robbery. Similar to these cases I post on this platform. Robberies, drugs, out two, three in the morning. All that lead to bad news. With that being said, let's get into this video. I'm done talking. <laughs> Coldness hands over the evidence to the DA's office. Christopher Parker, Caiz, and O'Shea could all be responsible for Miko expiring. The round went in and out of Miko, so they're not sure who really hit Miko with the UWAP. So the Deputy Chief Assistant District Attorney speaks with Parker first, hoping to use him as a witness against Caiz and O'Shea. Parker agreed to talk to him in exchange for a deal. He was facing life. So he starts by telling Parker, you're an armed security guard and you didn't check your rounds or even know the size of your clip. Parker says that's because he's not supposed to be armed. What the DA is doing is checking Parker's story against what they already know. So he doesn't believe what Parker is saying and shuts down the interview. So Parker's legal team speaks to him and now he's willing to come clean. So once they reinitiate so re the interview... The interview. Now Christopher Parker says he let the UWAP loose after he heard the UWAP go off from both the red team and the blue team. He said his only goal in the whole situation was to protect the club. So he told everybody that wasn't involved to get down. So with that information, the DA offered Christopher Parker a 20-year deal for involuntary manslaughter. Christopher Parker accepts the deal. December 2020, the DA retired and the case was handed over to Chris Lewis, assistant DA. The first person he wants to talk to is Christopher Parker because Caiz and O'Shea case was still pending. But Parker had a heart attack while in prison. With Parker being gone, any statement that he made was no longer allowed. So the DA decided to try Caiz Patrick and O'Shea Howard together. O'Shea defense attorney, pushed for O'Shea to have a separate trial because he wasn't Team Blue. He was just trying to help a friend, which was Miko, while Caiz was Team Red, and they initiated everything. So she filed several motions. Two months later, the motion was granted. O'Shea gets a separate trial. For Lewis, the new DA had worked a similar case to this one where the defendant was acquitted. And he had way better evidence than he did in this case. So with that being said, he contacted the mom of Miko to see would she be willing to have O'Shea Howard take a deal. She was willing to do that. O'Shea Howard was offered a deal for the homicide of Miko and unrelated robberies. He accepted the deal for involuntary manslaughter and robbery and received a 10-year sentence plus 10 years probation. Caius Patrick was offered the same deal and pleaded guilty to involuntary manslaughter and other related crimes. He received 10 years plus 10 years probation also. Thank you for watching. Leave me some comments. Hit that like button. Hit that thanks button. Stay safe out there. I'm done talking. That there is such a large pull here. Miko lost his life because of the wrong shirt, wrong place, wrong time.